Time once again for a five minute ish review. The long lost film for Scream Queen Linnea Quigley has been unearthed and will be on shelves in a remastered Blu ray November 2022 thanks to Visual Vengeance. Fallen Angels, as it was originally titled and retitled Blood Church, was the work of writer director Eric Swelston. In 1989, Swelston finished the movie in Columbus, Ohio, but abandoned the project when he failed to obtain a distributor. And other than unfinished murky prints found at conventions and online, it has never been officially released. Several producers approached Swelston, offering to finish the film, but still it sat. Finally, Visual Vengeance has come through with this SD remaster from original tapes and film elements supervised by the director himself. A behind-the-scenes documentary, three commentary tracks, and more are included on this disc. Single dad and newspaper man Paul Henson purchases a paper in a small Ohio town. He and his daughter try their best to fit in, but begin to notice that the townspeople are a little odd. They all seem to be in the thrall of Donovan, the local church reverend. As Paul digs deeper into mysterious happenings, he discovers that most of the town, including the Reverend, are part of a satanic cult and are led by the beautiful but evil Julia. Paul's daughter Christina is chosen for the cult's next sacrifice, and it is a race against time for Paul to save his daughter and expose the cult. Filmed entirely on location in and around Columbus, Ohio, the small town setting is real and gives the movie that grassroots feel that it really benefits from. Had this been filmed anywhere else, the entire exercise would have felt fake. Many of the extras and crew were locals and the locations are all places that you might be able to go and visit the day. I know I'm definitely going to try someday. Acting is about what you may expect. Dino Tripodis does a good job as the earnest newspaper man. His portrayal of Paul is an award-winning to say the least, but he doesn't phone it in either. He takes it seriously and it shows. His on-screen daughter Sharon Klopfenstein is fairly one-note, and honestly, her character is only there to be kidnapped and threatened anyway, so she didn't have a great deal to work with. Nick Baldassar plays the icky Reverend Donovan. He is adequately creepy and plays the role with relish. The villains are almost always the reason to watch these films, and this one is no different. Which brings us to Scream Queen Linnea Quigley. There is a reason a woman like her is cast in a film like this, and although she only appears in the film for a few minutes at a time, her scenes are memorable for the reasons you can imagine. Her character is as evil as she is beautiful, and 75% of the nudity in the film is thanks to her. Heartland of Darkness is pure late 80s, early 90s horror fun. Before the genre was awash with over-the-top cartoon antagonists and computer-generated monstrosities, it was filled with simple, practical makeup and down-home villainy. Here, the blood is gratuitous, as is the nudity, and the plot is simple and straightforward, with the villains showing their evil nature just by acting slimy. This era includes the type of horror that I cut my teeth on, so I thoroughly enjoyed taking a nostalgic trip to those simpler times with Heartland of Darkness. The only complaint I have is that the timing of the release. Visual Vengeance really missed the mark by not having this out in October. I'm sure there is some reasonable explanation, but missing releasing a movie like this during the Halloween season is so unfortunate. This is exactly the kind of movie people would want to settle down with while waiting for the trick-or-treaters. Well, I guess we get to extend the season a month. The Blu-ray is available for pre-order at various locations online for as little as $25 for an all-region disc at DiabolicDVD.com. Once you get your hands on it and watch the film for yourself, let me know what you thought of it. Follow the link in the show notes to all our social media outlets or send an email to timeshifterspodcast at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs>